Welcome back to the show. Since the election, Americans have an ever-growing list of things to be freaked out about. So I asked Ashley Nicole Black to add one more thing. We cannot prevent terrorist attacks or cyber threats without some capability to penetrate digital communications. Thanks, Obama. But is that how the surveillance state is being used? Government is already collecting data on millions of innocent Americans on a daily basis. I guess not, because now they have unprecedented authority to hack into Americans' computers and their devices. The government surveils communities they believe oppose them. And when Donald Trump becomes president, they might come after you. Also, everyone who didn't like his last tweet. Ugh, am I being too paranoid? If you don't mind, I want to be I want to surveil. I want surveillance. Oh, shit. Here's the ACLU's technology expert, Chris Segoyan, to tell me everything's going to be OK. President Trump will inherit the most powerful surveillance machine ever built. On the bright side, pretty much everything Trump inherits goes bankrupt. So. President Obama thought that these tools would be used responsibly, but there's really a range of awful people out there trying to uh, violate your privacy. Why should I care about internet security if I'm not doing anything wrong? The government's view is to find the needle in the haystack. They have to collect the whole haystack. They know when you go to church, if you call a suicide hotline, if you visit an abortion clinic. This is like my nightmare, but my mother's dream. Is this a dream? How is the government surveilling us? Many of these tools were created for the military. That includes devices like license plate readers, facial recognition technology. And stingrays, devices that can fly over crowds and suck up data from everyone's cell phones. So now you can't plan your protest and the government knows who you're fucking. So what are they doing with all of this information? They will build a social graph showing who's calling who, who are friends, who are associates. So they're building something that looks like this. Yeah. It's just a map of black people. We know that law enforcement resources in our country are disproportionately uh, leveraged against people of color and the poor. There are even reports that DHS accidentally surveilled a funk parade, thinking that it was uh, a protest. OK, but to be fair, they were threatening to tear the roof off the motherfucker. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that stuff. But who's watching out for us, the American people? There's a scene at the end of Dark Knight. Familiar. Morgan Freeman destroys a surveillance machine that Batman built because it's too dangerous. We need the president to be Morgan Freeman. But he won't because Morgan Freeman has already been the president like 12 times. We need to learn to protect ourselves. But how? Oh, look. Here's a flyer for a crypto party that teaches people about internet security. It's run by a hacker who goes by the handle Matt Mitchell. This is Matt. I'm Matt, and I'm gonna be talking to you about digital safety. Am I imagining this? Nah, I can never make up that shirt. We're gonna start with how you can secure your phone. Why is the Geek Squad staring at me? A tool that you could use to make a secure encrypted phone call is called Signal. If my text messages aren't encrypted, they can be intercepted at any point and anyone can read them. That's correct. So that dick pic could be anywhere. There's a sea of dick pics everywhere. And that's just the tip. I'm learning so much. Like my passwords can't all be I heart Cory Booker. You need to have a unique password for every thing that asks for a password. I gotta tell black people to quit it with Boost Mobile. The Apple phone is encrypted by default, while most Android phones are not encrypted by default. I need to buy duct tape. To secure yourself, always cover your camera. Where do I get duct tape? There's malicious software out there allowing someone who's not yourself to access your camera. Wait a minute. This is the worst party I've ever been to. No one's even offered me a drink. Invite me to a party, scare the shit out of me, and there's no booze. Maybe I'll hook up with privacy lawyer Nate Wessler. Then my Fourth Amendment rights won't be the only thing getting violated. This kind of dragnet surveillance runs into really serious problems under the Fourth Amendment to our Constitution. The framers were worried about British troops searching every house in the neighborhood looking for one dissident. So instead, they're searching our digital neighborhood. Yeah, meanwhile, all of our privacy is sacrificed. I knew I was right. Is this even real? I, I, I'm right here. I'm, I'm real. I promise. He is real. And Matt agrees. The threat to all of us is real. Brown folks 
LGBTQ, gender non-conforming folks, they've had the boot of oppression on their necks for a really long time. And now white folks are just beginning to feel like the pinky toe of it and panic is ensuing. I want to be like white people. This is the one thing you can appropriate, but then they probably won't do it. So maybe we should be like, encryption, it's just for us. And see how quickly they come running to take it. That's one idea. What's the one thing white people love more than Mr. Robot? Don't worry, Talib Kweli is here too. Now if you're black, watch your back, cause you're never alone. They take the data that you own and they don't have to condone. We go through episodes too, like Attack of the Clones. Except even though Invader wasn't hacking the phones to get by. Just to get by, just to get by, just to get by. Lock your phone with a passcode, or what you download and get stolen. Basically, be the black and with Snowden. Just to get by, just to get by, just to get by, just to get by. The NYPD. Put the troll on patrol, then you online collected everything we post from Twitter to Vine. Right. Encrypted apps, let them have all your data that's private. Like every dick pic that you text to your side chick, your spy shit. Uh. They're trying to take us 50 years backwards. Uh. Fuck your password, you ready for revenge of the black nerds. Oh. Just to get by, yeah. just to get by, just to get by. Will somebody white please appropriate this track so this shit can get mentioned? Please. It goes against the Fourth Amendment. We'll be right back. <laughs> 